Hey everyone, this is Kamran and today we will be talking about the session based authentication, which is a stateful authentication technique in which the state is maintained on the server. Let's say that we have the client and the server and a user tries to log into the server. So the user will submit their username and password. The server will check if the credentials are valid. If they are valid, then the server is going to create a session. What is this session? This session is simply the storage of the user specific data on the server. So the future requests from the same user can be tracked. This data can be stored in memory, in Redis, in file system or database as well. Let's say that we are using Redis and we want to store the ID and the email of the user. So we will store this data in Redis and we will get the identifier which can be later used to get the data back from Redis. The server will take this ID and it will send it to the browser. This ID is called the session ID. The browser will store this session ID in the cookies or in local storage or the session storage. In the future when the user performs some other operation, the browser is going to take this ID from the cookie or the storage and it will send it to the server along with the request. The server will take the session ID from the request and by using that it will get the user data from Redis. And this is how the server is going to identify the sender of the request. Alright, so now that we know what the session based authentication is, Let's look at the practical example to understand this better. Here I have a simple application with two pages, the home page, which is only accessible by the logged in users. So as you can see, if I try visiting the home page, it keeps sending me back to the login screen because I'm not logged in. And there is this login screen, which is only accessible by the users who are not logged in. Now, if we submit this login form and log in to the website, you will see that the server responded with the response header to set the cookie with the session ID. And if I go inside the application tab, you will see that our browser has set the cookie with the session ID. And now that we are logged in, if we try visiting the login screen again, it redirects us back to the home screen. And now if I log out, I'm redirected back to the login screen and I can no longer access the home page again. And that is all about the session based authentication. Links to a step-by-step -step guide on how this application is built and the source code are given in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.